You hear me well? Okay. So thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us in this uh, workshop uh, of FlowSurf. I hope you are still uh, got some energy uh, inside of you after three days of, uh, of the show. So today we're going to be reviewing some of the FlowSurf nuclear capabilities and we'll be focusing uh, more on the, on the capabilities we have to serve existing plants, okay? So basically power up rates, life extension of the products and, and solve pr problems, but more focused on the, on the existing plants. So just uh, uh, an introduction of, uh, of ourselves. My name is Alberto Chinchilla. I am the global product manager for the pumps, uh, for power pumps uh, here in this case of the turbine island, okay? But also for the combined cycles and, and other uh, other power plants, and my colleague uh, Rafik uh, Mohamed, he's the product manager for all the PAMs for nuclear, okay, based on basically a nuclear related. So I've been working like 20 years in, uh, in this company, and he's been uh, 13 years. Okay, so we're gonna be reviewing just uh, quickly what's been doing uh, FlowSurf, uh, I guess you all know FlowSurf, but just a quick introduction on our history and the products. And we'll just jump after that to what's the capabilities, technical solutions we can uh, use to deploy uh, solutions to the, existing, uh, to the existing installations, right? And we'll just review, which I think is the most interesting part, some cases, some examples of uh, real actuations we've done in uh, nuclear plants in, uh, in Europe. And then we'll just go some uh, questions and answers and, and some discussions uh, with, uh, with us if you want after the, after the discussion, right? So uh, for those who don't know FlowSurf and FlowSurf history, we've been in the, in the pump business uh, for more than 200 years, okay, with different company names. Uh, in particular in nuclear, okay, we've been since the 50s, uh, starting with the uh, first pumps for the first uh, nuclear submarine, just going through other important uh, milestones until today. So we've got more than 70 years uh, of experience uh, in nuclear. Uh, we are a pump manufacturer, valve manufacturer, and mechanical seal manufacturer, so we got all the <laughs> damn package of, of, uh, of products, right? So a big install base, a lot of it in the United States. You see there are more than 5,000 pumps 15,000 valves uh, in more than 200 reactors. So we c basically know what we are talking, we're talking about. This, and my intention is not to go through that, but it is just, just a, sna a snapshot of, of, of what we do, uh, what pumps we have and valves, uh, uh, products for, for nuclear. So, okay, so we serve either the NSSS side and the turbine island, uh, starting from the primary cooling pumps, okay, and seals. We have more than 500 pumps installed, primary cooling pumps installed, installed worldwide. Uh, safety services, okay, safety pumps, uh, non-safety pumps, uh, products uh, like, I mean, main isolation valves and compressors, and we also serve all the main critical pumps, uh, valves and, and, and seals on the, on the turbine island, okay. So it's just a, a snapshot, I mean, I was, uh, requesting uh, you to visit us in the booth for more information, okay, of each of the applications. So we are in the booth uh, J14, just in case you want to come visit us. Uh, hurry up because the show is <laughs> almost over. So, and this, uh, this starts really here, the presentation uh, of today. Uh, and I mean, what we want to talk about deeply here is how to support the existing installation of, of uh, nuclear plants, okay? So, there's several items and actions that could be, that could be requested for existing, existing uh, plants. And as you may understand, the, the technique, I mean, the, the requirements, the expertise you need to apply to that is completely different to serve uh, an original plant or a new plant uh, constructions. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, I would say, innovative, innovative approach and thinking out of the box and really having the expertise, understanding the application uh, because you're entering a site, sorry, 
a plant which has already been working for 20, 30 years and you need to apply a solution, right? So efficiency improvements, for example, uh, life cycle cost evaluations, a pump of editing, uh, ex range extensions uh, with uh, plant up rates, okay? Plants that want to, to increase their power rating, uh, solve uh, NPSH margins. Uh, we can design pumps if we need to for existing applications. Uh, do overhaul, completely overhaul of pumps, seals and valves uh, that we are requested to do. Obviously, reverse engineering these days is not as complex as in the past, but it requires a lot of and deep knowledge of uh, engineering. So, all that to say that in all these uh, jobs uh, that, we, that we are requested to perform, we also apply dedicated project teams, including from uh, the people, uh, sales guys going to the customer, engineering people, project management people dedicated for a solution as a turnkey uh, project. Okay, so, and again, these tailor-made solutions require a lot of innovative, uh, innovative thinking. Okay, so just before uh, I send this to, to my colleague Rafik to review the real technicalities of some examples, just to show here that all this requires engineering capabilities. We have uh, more than 50 engineers just in different branches, like mechanical uh, design, experts in materials, uh, hydraulic design, vapor elastics, and all then ap application knowledge experts. So going from uh, FEA analysis, CFD, cavitations. So all the engineering capabilities are available in our team to serve the existing plans. Obviously, ASME, ASME knowledge, RCCM, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's key, and we have it. And once everything's done, just to show, uh, we can test pumps, basically, what we have, uh, what we apply either in original equipment or in aftermarket solutions, we can test pumps up to 1,000, 100,000 cubic meters per hour, up to 18 megawatts, but in the sense, in, in the, in the, modeling test, okay, on the modeling side, we have uh, visualization uh, test for cavitation, mechanical seal test labs. Uh, we can perform reduced scale model test, okay, field simulations, endurance test, hot test. So I think we've got, and they can be proud, one of the biggest uh, test facilities or complexes, not only one facility, to basically be able to make sure that our solutions are working fine. I mean, it's very typical uh, to test reduced scale. Uh, many, many solutions we, we apply uh, into this, uh, into this uh, world, right? So, I mean, this is just a, a snapshot of our capabilities. Uh, we have a global reach, and this is very important, is we're just not based on the USA, okay? We have more than 70, uh, facilities uh, to manufacture original equipment and more than 180 uh, quick repair centers are spread worldwide. Okay, so there's there's one repair center and one factory close to uh, in each uh, nuclear power plant that might require our our um, our help. Okay, and again, the engineering uh, teams and these support teams are not in the US. I mean, most of that we can serve directly from Europe, okay? So you will have direct contact uh, with, uh, with our people. So now I will leave the, the word to, to my friend Rafik to start with the technicalities and he will review basically some examples of what's been the, the scope of the actuations we've done in several plants to give you an idea of uh, what we were talking about and the complexity uh, of those successful uh, actuations. Good morning, everyone. And thank you, Alberto, for your warm introduction and explanation. It was a very good one. So as Alberto mentioned, so basically our today focus to give some uh, glimpse of uh, information regarding the, the live example. There are various uh, the aftermarket solution and the activities happens in the nuclear power plant, but we have picked very few key activities, real examples, just to present you, uh, to give an idea. So basically, um, 
there are multiple problems exist in the nuclear plant in terms of uh, the you know the maintainability issues and the vibration and the cavitation. So, uh, what exactly um, that brings uh, the concern to the nuclear operator? Uh, somebody who, who is an expertise, uh, when they are visiting the nuclear plant, they could be in a position to understand all the problems uh, existing in the p in the pump and the futuristic as well. So they are basically the nuclear operator looking for not the technician, they are looking for somebody who can uh, make an assessment and give a strategic decisions to the customer that uh, whether it's worth to do the completely the, uh, the replacement of the pump or is it worth to do some investment on the existing product itself. So the flow so our focus is not to do the, the repair work, our focus is to give the strategic decisions to the customer. So the problem listed here, those are all main problems uh, which uh, been encountered by the nuclear operator. So I don't repeat again, but uh, you can consider the, the, um, the maintenance related problem and the problem with the performance itself, okay? So the, our first live example, we have taken a, uh, we have taken a project which was performed, I mean, one of the nuclear plant in Sweden which has encountered I mean, um, uh, there was a um, necessity for the plant operator to upgrade their uh, whole reactor power capacity from the existing one to the, the increased one. That is the one of the method of producing the electricity, uh, I mean, bene benefiting, the, uh, benefiting by producing the electricity from the existing nuclear plant. So it is the case with a few, re I mean, the few nuclear power plants. So where in which the customer has a request uh, to, the, to the all associated system and the equipments to upgrade the capacity. So basically they were targeting for a 20 percentage power upgrade uh, and the equipments uh, concerned uh, are multiple equipments. But FlowServe, we have worked on multiple packages, but we have taken this example. There is a pump which circulates the water to the condenser, so the number six. So basically it's a circulating water pump. Uh, it supply the, the huge flow of the liquid to the condenser. Um, so basically the, pro, uh, the, the challenge is that we need to make an assessment whether the existing pump is capable enough to go for the, the such extension or the customer should buy the new pump. So. 17 percentage of increase in flow capacity was necessary. When there is such an extension of the flow or capacity, there are expected the problem accounted. So normally the pump, when it is expected to operate at the higher flow, there are problems related to the vibration expected, there are problems related to the, you know, the, the performance is expected. So FlowSo made an uh, uh, observation and assessment of that particular pump, circulating water pump, and what we delivered uh, finally, the solution is that we, we have modif I mean the replaced certain components necessary, hydraulic components necessary, and we have modified um, some of the auxiliary systems. So finally, the outcome is to re-rate the pump for the capacity of 17 percentage increased flow and deliver the product as a scheduled maintain, I mean scheduled expected time. So customer doesn't have much time to to wait for uh, somebody to uh, you know give the solution. So we could able to deliver that in the sh on time. So it's a typical uh, uh, flow process. How FlowServe handles this kind of uh, uh, this kind of solutions. Uh, this is the pump on the left side, the circulating water pump. So basically the photo what you see it's an uh, impeller. Uh, I mean the actual impeller photo, but I, I would like to emphasize the, the way of approaching these kind of solutions. So our expertise normally uh, they visit uh, the plant and they go through all the history record of the existing pump. So basically this pump what we uh, worked upon is one of the competition pump. So we go through all the track record of the existing pump performance and uh, in, 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 in physical at present, uh, they, they also run the pump and they take some measurements uh, at the site. So finally, with the, all the extraction of the performance, 
um, the two uh, way of approaching the solution. One is to do with the uh, fluid dynamics uh, modelization uh, with, the, with the engineering theoretical approach. And then the other way is that uh, start building the prototype of based on the study what we did and test those models, hydraulics, in practical in our uh, test laboratory. So we basically produce the scaled model because the pump is such a huge component. Uh, um, we, we produce the scale model uh, of a small and a smaller size, and we use our test laboratories uh, to test those kind of. Uh, I mean, to validate the the performance of the new hydraulic model which we are proposing to them. So finally, um, we after the validation of the performance, uh, we we we. We again put our pump back to the site and we do the, uh, the site factory test as well. In a parallel way, we also take care of uh, the changes what we do in a hydraulic, how, we, uh, how it would impact the mechanical behavior. So we make all the necessary changes into the, in terms of the mechanical components, for example, uh, the changes of um, the shaft, that does it need, needs to be modified, the coupling needs to be modified, the bearing life has to be increased. So all hydraulic and mechanical improvement will be done and finally put it into the solutions. So, and also we understand the uh, local regulatory requirements when the pump or equipment goes for the upgrade. So we follow the local uh, nuclear regulation requirements. Just in addition to what Rafik said, I mean, when they say it's t test uh, scale model, is apart from testing the pump, we also have the possibility to replicate the sump of the pumps in our test lab. Okay, so you, we, we replicate the, 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 the real conditions of the, of the suction intake, and we can propose solutions to basically adapt the flow and make it as uniform as possible to the pumps, right? So apart from building a scale model of the impeller to obviously validate the hydraulics, we also give recommendations to act on the sump and on the intake basing to make everything uh, in the flow as, as smooth and linear as, as possible, right? I mean, not only on this, but also on new pumps, we, we recommend that also to the, to the customers to, to perform that analysis because it helps a lot reducing vibrations and problems in the, in the future with this, at least with this uh, vertical pump uh, that works on cantilever on the sumps, right? Thanks, Alberto, for the additional inputs. So again, uh, it's again on the uh, nuclear plant in Sweden. Uh, the, the other challenge we have, so basically the, the, the reactor goes for again an upgrade, but this time the equipment we handled, it's a main feed water pump. So basically this equipment um, uh, supplying the fluid for the steam generator, which produces uh, the, the heat, I mean the hot steam, so, uh, I mean, any refurbishment on the feed water pump, it's, it's a critical and the challenge one. Um, so we can expect for such a high flow, again, the vibration and noise related problem. So we have uh, made an assessment on this feed water pump. Um, and again, again, we made an uh, improvement, not only, this is the flow serve pump, flow serve model HDR. And not only on the hydraulic portion, we have also made an improvement um, uh, in the mechanical seal and the couplings and um, also the hydraulic components. So basically, um, I repeat again, we, we gone through with the assessment of the hydraulic, existing hydraulic uh, behaviors, and uh, we reproduce um, the hydraulic performance into the, the 3D modeling and the CFD, then we undergone the, 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 the cavitation visual test and also the performance test. Okay, so the next one, uh, it's a peculiar one and the nuclear power plant in Slovakia, say where we have uh, upgraded uh, the pump which has, it's a competition pump uh, where we had uh, the customer was looking for uh, the solution for some of the problems. For example, they were really concerned about the, the pump behavior and the efficiency, what they were getting, and they want to improve the efficiency and uh, mitigate all the problems, uh, the, the maintenance-related problem, vibration and noise. So what we did, uh, we assessed uh, this pump again, um, the, the, the behavior and the performance. 
So we proposed a customer a solution that um, the existing competition pump, the stator parts, the casing and the stuffs are being kept, but we proposed um, the, the, the solution by, me, by means uh, we are replacing comple completely the hydraulic cartridge of the pump. So basically what you see in the red color, it's a flow so hydraulic uh, components, rotor components. Uh, the, 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 the casing which is in the, the, the green color, which is the existing component. So uh, there were multiple improvements were done. Uh, basically, uh, in order to improve the efficiency, uh, there should be a uh, control of the recirculation. So we made an attempt to study the existing uh, wear rings. So uh, we, we understood that the design from the competition um, in terms of performance as well as the assembly point of view, which is very difficult for customer to, to uh, do the maintenance activity. So we basically improved that design, wearing design, so uh, which improve the, I mean, which minimize the recirculation, uh, obviously that resulted into the efficiency improvement. Um, then we also, made some changes in the, the isolation of the cover with the casing. Uh, we made uh, some improvement in terms of the, the gasket design itself. And uh, we improve, I mean, we uh, redesigned, sorry, one minute, okay. So uh, we improved uh, the bearing life and the stuffs. So finally, what we want to say uh, in this, uh, through this presentation. Um, so nuclear new building, it's a one way of uh, generating the nuclear power. The other one is customer is interested in the lifetime extension, the operate uh, related project, where they are looking for the supplier like Flows uh, or the similar companies to provide the solution for their existing problem. So how it can be done? It can be done in a way that the, the expertise who understand not only the, uh, the problem explained by the customer, who understand the complete system related uh, you know, the improvements to be done with a dedicated team because nuclear is a complex um, business to manage. So dedicated uh, people right from the sales to the end, uh, completely in engagement with the customer, be a partner with the customer and uh, understand their pain points and provide the solution uh, which they are looking for. And not uh, last, not but the least on the on time because all these activities has to be completed at the scheduled time and that should be committed to the customer. So. Flowso is tailor-made for these kind of projects and the turnkey projects, and we are happy to help the nuclear customers. Thank you. So, would like to take uh, questions.